all will be well. Hey gang, Dave here, DCPFX. Uh, today's video is uh, something I uh, meant to do a while ago, uh, since I got the 3D printer in the office, the resin printer. My first set of props I made uh, was Green Lantern rings. Well, lantern rings, not Green Lantern rings. Uh, Blue Lantern, all will be well. Um, it was just a bunch of files I found on Thingiverse, and I thought this is perfect for doing a resin print, so I did them. A little trial and error to get it right, but uh, I think they turned out pretty nicely. So I made them all to fit on my, <laughs> I don't even know what figure you want to call that, um, about thir size 13 and a half. It fits quite nicely, not in the summer as well because, well, it's hot out, fingers swell. Um, I got my wedding band back on. I figure the, the danger has passed and I just, I missed wearing it. Anyway, so there is the blue lantern ring. Let me just get this off and I'll show you the other one. So I'll sort of zoom in here. I have then the Indigo Tribe. And this is a little bit off, this is uh, pink. I was using white resin to do this and I tinted them with some dyes. So there's the uh, violet. There is the orange, I gotta look closer for that one. And uh, the yellow lantern core. the red, and finally the white lantern. I'll put this one on. This one was great because, well, it's white. Now in the comics, there's a great long story about the, uh, the lantern uh, spectrum. So, you know, uh, those of you who've taken art, Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, um, blue, Indigo, Violet, Roy G. Biv. Sorry, I think I'm fine. Um, for a while there, for, well, for 40 years, 50 years, there were just Green Lanterns. And then uh, Jeff Johns got in, involved with it in the, I'd say the 2000s in there, and he made the Spectrum. So the Sinestro core, the yellow core was fear. Yellow became fear. So it started off that green was will, and then yellow was fear. Uh, blue became hope. Uh, Violet, uh, which is the uh, indigo tribe, um, they would, um, they were hope? No, they weren't a hope, they were, I don't know what they are. Um, and then you had the red was rage, and you had the orange, which was avarice, avarice or greed. And anyway, uh, the sapphire core were love, so the, the pink ones were, were love. So. That was the, the Lantern Corps, and then after they had all the various spectrums out there, and they had some weird rules that the Blue Lantern Corps would be able to charge another core's ring beyond capacity. So the Green Lantern ring had a capacity of 100%. When the Blue Lantern was near, you got 200%, uh, which is not possible. Anyway, um, then they also had the Blue Lantern ring, which can charge up other rings, worked for flight and for protection and that's it unless a green lantern was nearby because green lantern was will so without will hope doesn't do much great big long story it was interesting that then it led into the blackest night where dc basically brought all their dead characters back as black lanterns i didn't print the black lantern ring i didn't like the design i'll have to make one myself they came back and it required the use of two lanterns to do it so uh, you would have to have a indigo tribe and uh, indigo with another would destroy the black. It's a whole creepy long story. If you want to look it up, you can find the blackest night out there anywhere. But I thought this was a great way to start with the resin printer because, well, it's small. It's, it's small. It's not something huge. It's like a lot of time to print. This I think is an hour and a bit to do at pretty fine resolutions. I can always up the resolution and do some sanding, but it doesn't take much. So it's a great way to get started. Now I haven't done much with my resin printer since the pandemic in, uh, in March because, well, there's a great big run on isopropyl alcohol and isopropyls required in order to clean off prints when they're done. I don't get to the point where I got something printed and I can't clean it. So I just really sort of, it's sitting waiting. Um, 
what I'll do later is I'll show off my, my whole print and curation. Uh, there's something to show off to you guys. Anyway, that's my, uh, my video for the day, just talking about the lantern core. I originally did make these, I'll show a picture here, uh, by using just the promotional rings they put out in the time of Blackest Night. And I old schooled it, so what I did is I made a mold of it and then I cast it and I put it on top of a blank I had made and then sanded the lines. This is so much easier using a resin printer, like this is where everything is going. I love my resin printer. Hope everyone's staying safe and I will check you guys out later.